What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, apparently, CM Punk has broke his silence on his uh, Instagram story. And uh, after he uh, made this post, he uh, ended up deleting it. But, you know, when it comes to the internet, the internet is very quick to screenshot stuff. And it's all over Twitter right now. Um, so, we're going to check this out, see what CM Punk had to say. Uh, apparently he uh he took shots at uh tony khan john moxley uh chris jericho and dave Meltzer. so I i'm really trying to see what's going on here we're gonna go through this story appreciate all love and support man uh let me pull it up for you guys and let's check this out he starts it off with a a sigh i wasn't cleared to come back to wrestle yet then plan uh was uh then plan was to wrestle at the pay-per-view I sat and listened to Moxley's Rocky 3 idea. I explained how I've never seen a Rocky movie. That's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, and thought the idea sucked. But if the boss wanted to do it, whatever. He said he wouldn't lose to me. I'd never experienced someone refusing to lose to me. I just laughed. I asked Tony if this was what he wanted. He said yes. He's the boss, so I said, okay, but I need to be cleared first. They kept saying it could just be a squash, so I didn't need to be cleared. I scoffed at that. My health is more important. Dave Meltzer is a liar. Jericho is a liar and a stooge. There were plans, but plans always change. But uh, there were plans, but plans always change. But I'll never put a company above my health ever again and that is what he had to say man the crazy thing about this i always thought, thought this was weird on how cm punk ended up losing to john moxley when they were going to try to find out who's the undisputed AEW champion at the time because john was the interim champ and, and cm punk was still the champ but he was injured so when they booked this match for dynamite and everyone's hyped about it and then it turns into a glorified squash match for five minutes to this day is one of the craziest weirdest booking decisions you could have ever done to your top talent and now we get some context on why this happened apparently john moxley didn't want to do the job which is kind of crazy to me john moxley didn't want to do the job, even though they were going to have a match at the pay-per-view anyway. Honestly, this match shouldn't have even happened. To be honest, it should not have happened. It was such a convoluted way to get ratings at the time. Then apparently he had some issues with Dave Meltzer and Chris Jericho, calling them both flyers, calling Jericho a stooge. And he basically calling out Tony, Tony Khan. He's like, yo, Tony, are you cool with this move? And Tony was cool with it. So it to me, it's, it's just... It's very interesting because it's like, I don't see why John wouldn't want to do the job for CM Punk, considering he still ended up losing to CM Punk in the end. He lost at the pay-per-view. So I don't get why, what, what was the issue? Not losing to him. I, I get it. I guess it, it makes sense to not lose to him twice, but they shouldn't have even just had the match. They really shouldn't have even had the match at all. I think the match, um, at least not on television, I think they could have held out. I know they were trying to get a, a, a rating pop, but I think they should have held out. Honestly, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's like CM Punk, you would think, would be in a very good space in AEW because, you know, he has a little bit more freedom there to be himself and he can kind of move how he needs to move and and he can be creative but it seems as if it's like that's not the case it seems like there's been always some issues backstage as soon as he got into the company which is wild to say you know you go from a company where vince mcmahon was meticulous and controlled every little thing so you go to a company where Tony Khan is kind of more chill, it seems like, more lackadaisical. And a lot of times I feel like that can be a problem because you pretty much just let people say and do whatever the hell they want because why not? So he goes from something strict to something unrestrictive and now people, nah, I don't want to do this. Nah, I don't think this would be right. 
there's no it doesn't seem like there's some middle ground here and cm punk looked like he was trying to play ball as best he could but he wasn't trying to put his health on the line or whatnot to uh i guess you can say um i guess placate somebody's ego here i don't know he, he wasn't trying to put himself on the line for a company which i can totally understand and agree with so this is crazy and it part of me you know definitely it's not even part of me I, I believe this is definitely how he felt this wasn't no hacking situation he posted it and deleted it probably was someone said hey you may want to take that down but he definitely has his grievances and i, I wouldn't be surprised if cm punk says some more things because to be honest with you i know there's some people saying oh you know maybe he's coming back i don't know if he is we we don't know the question is will it even really be best for i mean i think it obviously would be best for aew if he did come back and you have another main event player but at the same time will it be a, a conducive working situation for everyone in the back when you know he it seems like he got a lot of enemies back there so i don't know this is crazy but he pretty much took shots at tony put took shots and Moxley for not one to go, you know, not one to lose to him and Jericho and Dave Meltzer. So it's going to be interesting to see if any of these individuals say anything, man. But if they do, I definitely will make a video about it. So comment down below. Let me know. Does this insight change your perspective on CM Punk at all? Um, or are you still among the camp of saying, screw CM Punk, he's he's the problem he was the problem in aew he was the cancer and good riddance or do you feel like maybe this you know kind of clarifies where punk's frustrations and where he was coming from the entire time but i appreciate all love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young to be the youtube wrestling champ of the world and you're in the clutch world heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace